way there was this today. Uh, the United States Congress has been around for 240, 234 <laughs> years. And today, George Santos became just the sixth House member ever to be expelled. His expulsion comes after being federally indicted on 23 charges and a scathing House ethics report. Now, that report finding that Santos stole campaign money and spent it on, among other things, Botox, Hermes, and OnlyFans. A special election will be held within 90 days to fill the competitive uh, seat. And as you can see, it did not take long for the locks to be changed in Santos's now former office. There it was up on Capitol <laughs> Hill today. Wow. See ya. Wow. You ain't coming back. Um, Republicans were basically a 50-50 flip on this. Half of them said he should stay. Half of them said he shouldn't. This is a really tough call. It is. And I talked to a bunch of members about this, and they were really torn about it for a variety of reasons. There was folks who said, look, I saw the, the ethics report. I've been involved with ethics, ethics reports. I've never seen anything as damning as what came out on George Santos. On the other side, George Santos made a point, and he's not wrong, in that he's the first person ever to get kicked out before being convicted. It's a really, really let's, let's take So, counsel, innocent until proven guilty in this country would be the other side of the argument. Well, but he's in the United States Congress. This is a political process, different a legislative, standard. different standard for sure. The reality is that this is criminal conduct. I mean, it's indicting conduct. I think the Republicans, if I was a Republican, would struggle with that, that close majority, that only that five-person, seven-person gap in the House, and what his exit means, because it's a high probability his seat is going to go to the Democrat. And, you know, you could argue that without the New York delegation of, of winning in Biden seats in upstate New York and outside New York, I that see, they wouldn't have counsel, the majority. You I could see, make I that see, argument. I see yeah, but Dems are going to win but that counsel, House next year. If you want to talk about credible accountability, you ready to throw Senator Menendez so I saw you winding up, exactly and I, was, I right. thought you that's exactly what you were ready to do. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Time out, time out. So Bob Menendez, Democratic senator, uh, had a case brought against him many years ago. It was a hung jury. A new case now. And they never brought it again. And they never brought that case again. A, a new case now. With gold bars. Gold with gold bars. Yeah, the, 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 hold on. The Justice <laughs> Department in the Biden administration uh, has some very serious mm -hmm. charges at the sitting senator's way. That's the and context. If you, had, and if you guys will not ever throw out anybody with criminal conduct on your side. There's a reason why he is, what, now the sixth person to be expelled since the Civil War. And the reason is simply because of criminal conviction. Because let's get throw all the crooks out of Congress. Guess what? I'm with you. Only half of Congress will still be remaining. <laughs> well, the thing is that there is a process of expecting certain people to resign. Um, I'm from Chicago originally. Uh, when Jesse Jackson Jr. was caught up in a long list of criminal issues, uh -huh. he resigned. He yeah. resigned under claims of something that had nothing to do with his criminal issues. However, he resigned. What we're seeing now is incalcitrant individuals, both in, Menez in Menendez, as well as what we just saw with George Santos, who refuse, even though paper after paper after paper, investigation after investigation, showcase just how problematic they are, and Santos's right. are pretty in-depth, refuse so, to step down. So we can, we can have this, this conversation about, you know, the, the back and forth. The reality is he's, he's charged with some very serious things, and he's gone. Right? So let's look forward now. You were a member of Congress. You've run for Congress. There is a, what, now three-vote margin that Republicans can only yeah, lose? And I would think that the amount of money that is flowing oh. into New York right now over the next 90 days is going to be this is nothing like we've ever seen or close to it. $20 and $40 million in this race. That's Tom what it's going to be. It's going to run for the Democrats. It's going to be a very, very close race. Mm -hmm. It's not likely to go Democrat. This is a true swing district. Keep in mind, it was the Republicans. Biden won by 11 points. But, but, eight points. But, but Santos won. Okay, this is, this is the Republicans in New York who led this effort to get rid of Santos. But the so, damage done by Santos... And the charges against him and how he's conducted his affairs going to be a is a no, he is to the Republicans he's a good in New person. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell uh, you is, is that it, only Republicans seem to fall on their sword. And you forgot something else. There's word on the Hill that Kevin McCarthy is going to step down, too. Right. So now you're talking Before the about end of the calendar year. Exactly. Well, now well, you're talking about a two-seat majority. You think that's, you think that's happening, man? I, I'm hearing the same thing. I, I've not talked to Kevin, so I don't have any inside information, but I've heard the same thing, that he might be gone by the end of the calendar year. He might but, decide to leave. But the decide. political process is the political process. You want to throw Menendez out? Yeah. I got a full defense for him before the U.S. No, attorney. Like, hold on. Hold on. You want to throw him out? Then the Senate ought to throw him out then. Okay, there's a process. No, selling, you uh, you selling, guys threw out Santos. political favors to Egypt is just as that bad is an as anything Nobody is. Is. Who's going to go bars? It's no, allegation. That's the allegation. It, I don't care but if he's got the He's got allegations against Santos He's entitled. Sounds a lot like the debate last night. Is this Newsom DeSantis? Is that what you're saying? By the way, talking about this 
we have a trial. He's talking help. about this district. Blake, you got to help me on this. He, here's, on. Hey, well, you've got Amisha. <laughs> Don't look at me. Florence got Nick. You've got Amisha. I'm just here for the ride. And I'm about fighting you Democratic about fighting. super PAC, quote, George Santos and the MAGA, and MAGA Republicans who protected him are a national embarrassment. Uh, the House Majority PAC looks forward to doing whatever it takes to flip this district blue in the upcoming special and election. Gonna happen. I mean, this is this it's going to happen. Tom Swazi is a really good candidate for this seat. He's a centrist de Democrat. Okay, so it's going to happen. And this Speaker Johnson going to New York right now to raise position. money. So yeah. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.